So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and today we're talking about the IT manager. Very general term that you've probably heard of and you wanna really understand, well, what do they do? The IT manager does a lot of stuff and their role is very varied depending on the, uh, the size and the industry um, of the company that they are working in. The IT manager can go by many different uh, titles as well. You've got an IT operations manager, you've got an IT infrastructure manager, you've got a service delivery manager, you've got an account manager perhaps with a focus on technology. So there's various different roles and in some cases the IT manager could be all of that. And then you're sort of thinking about IT directors and CIO and CTO and all of these more chief C-level oriented uh, titles and positions. But in general, the IT manager is the person who is responsible for everything IT. So in a smaller business, they're gonna do exactly that. They are gonna be responsible for everything technology related for the most part, making sure that the servers are healthy, that the network is healthy, that security is strong, that patching is happening, that uh, all of the infrastructure is being monitored, that things are running healthy. They're gonna be responsible for vendor management, so dealing with the service providers, dealing with the vendors of the hardware and the software that they're under their responsibility, making sure that things are within warranty, that if things are up to you know, or, or reaching the end of life, that they're forming plans to deal with the vendors to get that stuff replaced. They're dealing constantly with these ISPs, internet service providers, making sure that the services are running, with the phone providers, making sure that their phones are operational, that they're running, that the leases are accurate. If they don't have any other IT leadership within the business, the IT manager is gonna be responsible for the whole lot. Not necessarily doing the hands on themselves, they could have people underneath them doing that, but they're gonna be solely responsible and perhaps answerable to somebody further up the business. If they've got a CTO, a CIO, or even an IT director above them, they're ultimately responsible for technology, but in the cases of businesses that don't have that, in a small and medium business, for example, the IT manager is gonna be looking after the whole lot. Now, the IT manager could also be hands-on. They could be responsible for the day-to-day -day systems administration, the network administration dealing with servers and virtualization and switches and networks and, and all of these sort of things. They could have an element of development and looking after websites, creating some basic programs for the company to use. Um, but in the, in, if we're looking at the general term, the systems um, administrators, the network administrators, the, the security engineers, all of these people would generally answer or you know their, their manager would be the IT manager who's responsible for all of that. They wanna be delivering results so that the company as a whole can operate better from a technology perspective. I mean, nowadays, every single customer, every single company needs technology to some extent, right? Small, medium, large businesses, if they don't have technology, 50, 100 years ago could have operated. Today, very, very difficult, very, very, I would say almost impossible to operate without some component of technology being in place. Not saying that every company needs an IT manager, definitely not, but there needs to be an element of IT in there, right? So the IT managers really, their role and responsibility is to make sure that everything is running operationally, that things are running smoothly, that things are running healthy, so that there's no outages, so that the business can still be profitable making money and that they're you know recommending and strategizing to senior management of hey the, what why don't we go down this path if we in, you know implement this particular system or this particular methodology you're going to be more profitable because you're going to be able to do this you your staff are going to be more productive etc etc so they're really going to be um, fundamental especially in a day and age where technology is so prevalent they're gonna be really fundamental to sort of driving the change and the strategy of technology for that company to help them grow and expand in whatever they may be doing. And if you think in big picture, along with that is the development of um, an overall IT strategy, an overall IT framework, good policies, good procedures, good process. Um, they're going to be designing uh, perhaps IT roadmaps. So the thing that, hire people up in a business will want to see is 
can this IT manager really see what I'm trying to do and can they recommend things that I want right as a business uh, to help me be more profitable and to grow my business for example so developing 12 24 month five year technology roadmap strategy um, is also a good thing that a lot of IT managers do not think of that a lot of IT managers that I've met um, are just sitting in the now all they're doing is just making sure that the systems are working but they're not being proactive. They're not looking down the lens of time and sort of seeing um, what is coming up. You know, if security is a big thing, cloud is a big thing. Um, you know, oh, do we have disaster recovery in place? You know, what happens in the event of a disaster? They're not thinking about this stuff. So they're not putting things in place to be able to rectify, remedy, and mitigate risks and all this sort of stuff that's happening down the track. Putting strategy and roadmaps in place that really shows hey, in the next two years, we want to have achieved all of these things because of this, showing the, the business owners, the business leaders, um, this is the direction we should head because of this. These are the things that you should be putting in place because of this. This is the cost, this is the timeline. These are the resources we're going to need to be able to implement and achieve these things to essentially, at the long run, help you be more profitable, help you to be more productive, help your staff be more productive as well. In a larger business or a larger enterprise business, there may not be a IT manager per se or the IT manager title, but more different sorts of managers that are all IT oriented, but have different functionality and different levels of um, responsibility and accountability. So you've got, for example, a service desk manager, which is an IT manager, but it's more responsible for service desk. They're more responsible for the level one help desk, service desk type of queries, people calling in, needing basic IT support, and they're responsible for that sphere. Um, then you've got things like an operations manager who's responsible for day-to-day -day operations of the entire IT infrastructure in a business. The IT infrastructure manager who's responsible for the infrastructure of the IT. So the hardware, the servers, the data centers, the, the networks, the links between you know, your uh, offices, for example. You've also got a development manager who would have a team perhaps underneath them of application developers, quality assurance, web developers, these sort of guys. And they're responsible for making sure that the products they create for the business, for customers are adequate, that they're doing what they're meant to doing, setting goals, everything for the teams underneath them. Um, and you've also got service delivery managers, which essentially are IT managers, um, remote IT managers, we'll call them that way. So in a consultancy perspective, you, they may be working with a managed services provider. In the, in the case of a business doesn't have their own IT in-house, they may have IT guys coming in. The service delivery manager is gonna be really their IT manager for that business and a lot of other businesses as well. So they're gonna have many hats across many businesses they're providing a service. They're providing the service delivery of a IT platform and business. And further to that, the IT manager could also have that element of project management. If they have developed and designed roadmaps and strategy and everything like that, if they're the guy who's going to be um, implementing this, they could also be acting as the PM, as the project manager. They're responsible for now forming the team to be able to go out and implement whatever this technology is. They could be doing it themselves as a technical resource, as the systems admin, as the network admin, under this project management. So they're gonna be forming a project, creating project proposals and a plan, presenting it to whoever they need to, dealing with vendors, with perhaps external contractors, bringing them in to achieve that project. And because they have the manager title, regardless of service manager, service desk manager, operations manager, infrastructure manager, whatever, generally the IT manager of some sort will have um, staff reporting to them. So they're responsible for staff mentoring, making sure that staff are doing what they need to be doing, setting goals, doing performance reviews, appraisals, um, making sure that they're you know, a team motivator, that they're not just a manager, but they're a leader as well, that they're bringing the team up with them, um, that the team are providing and creating the results that the IT manager requires and ultimately what the business requires as well. They could be responsible for recruiting if they don't have a HR department within the organization, the IT manager could be directly responsible for recruiting. Uh, they could be responsible for day-to-day 
um, you know, um, interviewing of, of, of potential candidates, doing the hiring, talking about salaries, negotiating with staff, all that recruitment side of things and the mentoring of staff as well. So there you go, that is in a nutshell, well a bit of a detailed nutshell of essentially what an IT manager does. So that's a general overview of what the IT manager will do. They're gonna possibly be wearing multiple hats and it really depends on the size of the company and the particular industry that they are working in, the exact responsibilities of the IT manager. They could be hands-on, they could be hands-off, they could be dealing just with operations, just with service desk, just with infrastructure. They could be a remote IT manager, such as an SDM. They could be dealing with account management, vendor management, multiple, multiple things. Um, definitely something that um, a lot of people do not really consider the amount of work that some IT managers have to be involved with. But I hope that gives you a brief overview and an understanding. I would love it if you commented below give me a thumbs up, also subscribe to my channel. I've got a whole bunch of more videos, hopefully videos that you will find helpful and uh, we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.